Yo, what's going on guys? Ryan's here and welcome to official TikTok science, this page that claims to be animal satire but seems to be making some crazy genetic hybrids. I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. Leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, and let's find out. This experiment started off by taking DNA from our pet jellyfish. Okay, see, there's no way. Together with DNA from our household pig. We took the samples <laughs> to a laboratory where we spliced them together and successfully created the world's first half jellyfish, half pig. There's no way! This, this, Once the eggs hatched, they were some of the coolest and cutest creatures we've <laughs> okay. ever seen. They were extremely small, but grew up very quickly. They love to stay Yeah, moist, see, I feel like that's what's going on around here for the most part. It's just like taking These footage of other animals and claiming to genetically combine them, but like hundreds of thousands of people are falling for it. This experiment started off by taking DNA from our pet See, I just don't know. The more, the more of these I watch, the more DNA I just don't. Our pet crocodile. It's always mixing we the DNA, the first two animals lab, mentioned, and splicing and making together. an egg for it. And after long, we fertilized eggs. After months of incubation, they began to hatch. When they were born, they had crocodile <laughs> bodies with frog-like skin. But they continued to grow larger and larger and larger. Until after long, they were too large for us to keep, and so we let them go into the wild. See, I'm not on crack, right? When I say that's These just a giant salamander, I hate to burst the bubble around here, so but cool. <laughs> the amount of people sure who believe that's a frog crocodile. This amazing okay, see the cat pig. animal started off by taking DNA from our family cat and splicing it together with DNA from our pet pig. He's extremely cute. Ugh. We took this to the lab, and after three months, they were born. We bottle-fed these what is that? cat pig hybrids until they were old enough to eat on their own. And when they were all grown up, they were some of the cutest. It's a capybara, isn't it? It is for sure. You were looking at no, the what is that? first half cat, half pig. Hey God, is that an They're actual cat pig? Intelligent <laughs> and cuddly. They're some of the best creatures we've ever made. I mean, there's no way they made a cat pig, but at the same time, it would appear that they made a cat pig. This new species of animal started off by taking DNA from our pet gorilla and splicing See, it See, that's a chimp, but they called it a gorilla? Now I am not so sure. This process did not take long. You think someone who could genetically splice time, animals would be able to correctly identify a primate? Born. But then at the same time, this that does look like a weird-ass dog. Half gorilla half dog why are they stroking its ass like that extremely muscular much more than its brother there. he's a very cute and fun and lovable dog he looks like strong. it <laughs> this new animal species all right off by taking dna from a horse and splicing it with dna from our pet rabbit in our home i'm interested this process did not take very long until we fertilized eggs and set them in their incubators where they stayed for five months until they hatched. What's it gonna what be, man? What about to see is the world's first half horse, oh my God. half rabbit. We bottle fed them until Actually. they were to be on their own and eat solid foods. You can notice their hooves and their horse-like face with their rabbit body. What is that? They're amazing creatures. Follow is that a capybara? Why do I think everything's a capybara? We'll Everything is a capybara. This experiment a bear cat taking DNA from one of our friends' pet bears and splicing it together with DNA from one of our family cats. That cat already looks like a bear. DNA to our home laboratory, where we quickly spliced eggs. Laboratory. And set them in an incubator for many months. When they began to hatch, they were some of the smallest and cutest things you've ever seen. We bottle fed them until they were old enough to eat on their own. Are these Tasmanian what devils? What looking at is the world's first half bear, half cat. Dude, you that can is... see that they clearly have bear DNA by their mouths and their paws. They're Tasmanian devils, aren't they? some of them to friends, kept one for ourselves, but let the rest of them go back into the wild. Thanks for watching. I would freaking this love one of those. Except they get like crazy mouth cancer. Tasmanian devils get so much cancer for some reason. After successfully creating oh, the really? smallest deer by using deer DNA and hamster DNA, I decided <laughs> to try and make the world's smallest snake. And so I took snake DNA from one of our pet snakes here oh, what is and that? mixed it together with DNA from one of these small leeches. After splicing it together successfully in the lab, we fertilized some of the smallest eggs we have ever made. And after many months, they began to hatch. And 
the world's smallest snake was born. Part leech and part snake. If, re if real, if real, that would be insane. Three inches long, fully grown. This is the world's smallest snake. Wait, what are those snakes called? Those already poisonous, exist. Its fangs are too small <laughs> to penetrate your skin. We let many of them go into the wild. What are they called? I've seen them. For ourselves. Thanks for watching. Bye. Damn it! I just didn't know what their name is called. This All right, dolphin dog. Like Let's see where this one goes. For my friend's pet dolphin. <laughs> And we took DNA from our pet Volteria. My friend's pet dolphin. We took both of their what kind of friends you got, bro? Laboratory where we quickly fertilized eggs in the lab. This is what they looked like. We had quite a few of them, as you can see here. And when they hatched, you wouldn't believe what they looked like. This is the world's first bull terrier dolphin hybrid. And in the next video, I'll Bruh. show you that we sent their <laughs> DNA to 23 and me to see what would happen. But as you can see, they look very much like a dog. Why are you looping it up? Attributes. Just like this anything like a dolphin. Grown. They are so cuddly and smart. It's amazing. Is that a baby bear? Follow I'm pretty sure that's a baby bear. Whatever the hell is it, it sure as hell ain't dolphin. Pitbull hippo. You gotta be shitting me. Pet hippo. Our pet hippo. DNA from our pet pitbull in our home laboratory. We quickly fertilized eggs. And as you can see, they're quite Damn. large. We wanted to show you the Wait. egg's heart. Pitbulls and hippos are both mammals, though. Neither of them lay eggs. This is, this, I guess if After you're gonna, you have months, to create an egg, though. To hatch. That's been the case and with most of these. The world's first hippo pitbull was born. But Ugh, they're it also like wet. They grew up will blow your mind. Make a dry baby, now. that's the real creation. The world's first hippo pit bull is one of the wrinkliest dogs you'll ever see. Hippo but it's so cute and friendly. We only made one of them, and so we're keeping him as our own pet. They just got a regular dog friends. for this one. Follow my channel to see more amazing animal creations. It's adorable, but goddamn, I was looking for some barn hippo. I wanted to see. All right, penguin fish, riddle me this one. From my pet penguin. With DNA my pet, my pet penguin. Fish <laughs> my tank. And so I took their DNA to my laboratory at home, and with the help of my father, we began the process of. So that's why I never made crazy animal hybrids. My dad's dead. Growing them. I get it. Tanks. The results of this penguin fish hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fish that breathes air like a penguin. But it looks dead. Fish. Follow for part two. That is a goddamn penguin. <laughs> I've always wanted to mix turtle. All right, last egg. one. To Let's see what it turns out to be. And so that is exactly what I did with the help of my pet pig here and my pet frog. I quickly fertilized some Ugh. eggs and encapsulated them in jelly. Ugh. And I let them sit until they matured, and then they. They're gonna be bullfrogs, aren't they? What looks to be. What the fuck is that? Like okay. <laughs> With turtle features and a pig demeanor. I feel like those are the things so in Pikmin for sure. Alright, so hope you all enjoyed this crazy lesson on how to splice animals and make crazy hybrids. Definitely nothing silly going on. It is a satire page though. The only funny thing is all the people taking it all seriously because a lot of people buy a lot of stuff these days. Either way though, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!